What is up, peeps? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. A little late night grind out there. A little late night exposing by someone like CoffeeZilla. Last time I talked about CoffeeZilla, he's obviously been doing great work for a long time, but it was Faze Save the Kids scandal, which unfortunately gets brought up again this time around, but around a different streamer known as Ice Poseidon, formerly of Twitch, has been permanently banned by Twitch. At the point of me recording, his still pinned tweet is about Twitch. And after this exposing by CoffeeZilla, I got a weird feeling that Twitch is likely not going to let him back after, according to CoffeeZilla, he admits to scamming his fans out of $500,000 over his crypto project known as CX Coin. In case you guys missed it, it was actually back in July of last year where they announced the coin, which actually had a pretty cool idea around it. It just sucks that the idea fell through. The project is pretty much dead and someone like Ice Poseidon maybe didn't have the best intentions with it to begin with. I've been in this telegram for three hours, man. There's 14,000 people in here. I can't get a freaking word. I can't talk to the freaking dev. They said they were going to send out... They said they were going to get Soulja Boy to send out a tweet. He hasn't sent out a tweet, man. And it just freaking bit me. I'm just trying to invest in a coin, man. CX coin is the one to choose. I'm going to be in the telegram. My telegram. CX coin telegram. I'm the founder of CX Coin. My name's Paul Zanino, otherwise known as Ice Poseidon. And I decided to make a community-driven token that I'm personally gonna be a part of. I've seen a lot of shit in this crypto scene, and I'm fucking tired of it. A lot of people, they don't know what they're doing. They drop out of high school, they think they can just make a community. No, it takes years of hard work, public relations. You need to know your people. You need to know how to grow a community, and none of these other coins do. That's why I'm here, and I decided to take charge. Moises, I will make sure that you never have to rely on a Soldier Boy tweet ever again to not fucking lose everything. Thank you. Later down the line, we're going to be releasing NFT Marketplace, 6% buyback tokenomics. You already know. You've been in this shit for a while. But the most important thing is, I'm going to make sure I grow the community as much as I can. The main vision is it's a donation terminal for any content creator to use to get crypto donations. I'm gonna keep the donation terminal on the bottom of my stream when I go live on YouTube and anyone can donate using CX coin or any crypto using the platform and so can any other content creator. That's gonna hopefully keep the volume up and keep your hearts big. Can, can I talk to you there? You can talk to me every day. I'll be there every day in the Telegram voice chat. Join the CX coin Telegram. So as you can see there, the overall point of that coin, and of course in their vision as well, they wanted to have a way that you could actually pay your favorite streamer through cryptocurrencies, whether it be BNB, whether it be through CX coin or other cryptos, that's a great idea. Now I am unaware if there's any other platforms or programs I should say like that, but the idea in itself is, is a very cool one. It is ironic when it's developed by a streamer who is still permabanned by the biggest stream platform out there in Twitch, but still, it was a cool idea, but until a lot of clips began servicing, it was actually all throughout late last year where a lot of people were very skeptical about Ice Poseidon's intentions around CX Coin, as several clips out there had begun to surface about, you know, him referencing FaZe and how poorly they had done, but also maybe giving awkward props to someone like Sam Pepper for getting away with that scandal with FaZe Save the Kids and, and making a big bag as if it was some sort of accomplishment. It made people very hesitant about whether or not Ice Poseidon was truly in it for the long haul. So I think he's, I think he bro. still succeeded me, although bro, I, although he, he got it in a very bro, poor way. He made up like a bandit, bro. That, Sam's probably a f***ing nowhere like, probably has like, Three million crypto. If, the dude broke his lease. If you got a bro on his yeah. Tesla, the dude paid like what was it, ten stacks to break his lease. I don't know. Yeah, if you're breaking your lease and leaving the country, I mean, you definitely oh, that heard, you made I it. You flew first class. I mean, to <laughs> if he really felt the need to do all that, then he probably made plenty of bro, money. I heard Sam Pepper scammed people, but because he did it without going to jail. He's successful. He got away with it. And well, it seems like he wasn't. It is actually Coffee who's been seemingly sleeping on this stuff for quite some time, took a well-earned vacation late last year and came back now to do some proper exposing on ICE, who is now admitted to taking a lot of money from the project, including $200,000 from the pre-sale. There is a mysterious $250,000 missing from the, from the marketing account. 
And beyond that, $300,000 nearly taken from the liquidity fund, all of which ICE admits to CoffeeZilla that he did take out. If you guys do not know liquidity fund, well, uh, without anything in there, it doesn't seem there's much for investors to even ever, you know, reap themselves as a reward. So if you are willing to take out $300,000 or 90% of what was actually left for this project in the liquidity fund, it makes it seem, as ICE admits, like a rug pull, which is not a good thing in case you guys were curious. I don't know if you're aware of the fact that your average fan has way less money than you. So you're just taking from poor people. Like you understand that, right? That is definitely not, that, that is not a good way to put it. That's a pretty shitty way to put it, my dude. It's- I uh, think it's a pretty shitty thing to do. You said, um, you yeah, know, this not, is long-term, right? This, that, this is not, you in the that, telegram. This is, thanks guys. I assume everyone here is in it for the long haul to see this project come to life. Yeah, Anyone who invests that, in this should I, know it's a long-term project, so one week is not going to see results. You're the one saying people should not be looking for short-term gains. They should be looking at it at like a long-term project, right? Yeah. Okay. I said that. I said that stuff when I was working on it, and then it just wasn't working out. So I mean, it didn't yeah. work out because you stopped working on it, Paul. Yeah, I, I, I told you the. It just the the but, platform. But you're saying you stopped because you it stopped working out. But you, no, you stopped first, and then you said it was inactive. Then you took the money and ran. Uh, okay, hold on. No, you. That's not. Yeah, you're, I mean, sure. The way you're putting it is not false. And even worse is not only when he just admits that he was sell telling people he was long term, right? A big part of these projects is you convince your viewers, you convince your investors and people, you know, taking the time and of course, putting the money and effort into backing you and your CS coin that you are long on the project. So you can reap a bit more of those rewards. And, and, and maybe at one point he was, but even more than saying that he had, he had fibbed about it being long term because it didn't last very long. He didn't even put in that much effort and didn't really stay involved that long. Even more so than that, he admits to CoffeeZilla that the money is still there. He could still put the money back. He just he just isn't doing that. And, you know, if I had to give someone a weird way of props, it's 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 the props to Poseidon for taking this interview and being one of very few scammers to just go ahead and say, yeah, um, I'm doing it and I'm, I'm like not gonna give it back. You wanna keep the money that's not yours that you took from the project, even though you'd failed to deliver. I mean, I'm not really sure what you want me to say, but yeah. I'm trying to like get you to return the money because it's 100% still available and you could do that. If you want the answer, uh, yeah, I could give the money back. It is within my power. Um, but I'm going to look out for myself and not do that. And beyond that, it's Coffee making a great thread on Twitter to go through piece by piece all these accusations. Go do me a favor. Check out Coffee's entire video. He deserves that because he put on such a proper investigation into, I would say, the biggest crypto scandal we have covered so far throughout this year. He ends that thread by saying, that apparently, after posting all of this, it's Ice Poseidon saying he's going to give back $155,000 into the liquidity fund. But as of him recording and then posting, he's only put back $40,000. So he has reaped the rewards of what seems to be upwards of $500,000, not to mention $250,000, which is just kind of missing and uh, unconfirmed where that the whereabouts of that money is. But at least he's given $40,000 back. And it just, it, it's a bizarre time to be alive where unfortunately so, you have someone in Ice Poseidon who also spoke up about the phase situation, how it made it very hard for everyone else involved. And ironically, so months later, he's involved in something just as big. I wouldn't say bigger than Save the Kids. That was a pretty big scandal, but he's involved in a similar situation. So what do y'all think about this? Ice Poseidon accused of actually scamming his fans out of $500,000 plus. What a wild time to be alive. Hope you guys all enjoy. Drink your water, drink your coffee. Okay, bye.